How's it going, YouTube family? 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 How's it going my YouTube family? Welcome back to another vlog. Yo, you guys have been killing it with the stickers. Awesome. Honestly, when you guys do pick up the stickers, send me a picture or DM on Instagram. And I want to I want to check out where you guys are putting these stickers. I really appreciate the support. But anyways, we're starting this vlog over here. Going to check out the custom, Ray Customs, and Nifty Builds. Uh, I post up on Instagram that I'm getting a uh, shifter made. And this is actually where we're going to get done. So I want to come over here and meet with him and see more about their stuff and their products. What's up, man? What's cracking, brother? I want to tell you YouTube family right you are? Yeah, it started to feel right up, away. <laughs> All right. What's up, man? Race Customs. Collab with um, Nifty Build. Some of the companies we do work with, man. Check Let's out our Check website. Out one of our websites for shift, shift knobs. My bad. It's um, shiftsolutions.co. Check them out. All your shifting needs. Yeah, oh, yeah. look at these. Money, 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 money. All I know. Spend it, spend it. Can I take it when I'm grown? What up, Nifty? What? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So this is actually gonna be pretty dope. So we're actually gonna follow like the full step of my shift not being made. And I don't think we ever got a full follow like a full process and like at least a full on a full vlog at least of it being made. So he's going to walk us through the steps and we get some B-roll cinematic and we get to see this beautiful guy the whole time. It's gonna be fun. Nifty, why so shy on the camera, bro? So I have Phil one of the five inch or four inch knob with the five inch extender. So our process, every every knob I get in, I always clean up, either if it's gonna be candy coated, um, the china finish isn't that good. <laughs> so I'll put it on my little lathe and I always give them a better brush finish. That's usually just for candy colors. And also guys too, before we keep going with this, I don't know what color he's actually going to do my knob. Like I just forgot to tell him, like I sent him a picture of my car, which he's already known. He's actually, he follows my channel. That's pretty dope that I get to do business with you and you actually follow the channel. So um, he's doing a color that he only knows. I don't personally know. So I'm gonna learn the color as this keeps on going, as you guys are gonna learn this color. So I just want to come and say that. Sure you looking for a different. So this is a difference, something we do here. As you can see, the China brush finish and our brush finish, it's more uniform. It actually looks brushed than just, you know, scratched up. So that's something we, we like to offer to our customers. Makes it look better, especially with the candies. It pops a lot more in the sun. And yeah, man, it looks pretty good. You gotta pick, bro. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm so indecisive. Do not ask me what color to pick. I have so many colors, bro. He finishes, there's candy gold. <laughs> don't. There's sparkles. There's <laughs> thousands of colors, bro. I don't know. Like, I don't know, like, what color. I really don't know what color yeah, to go with. I know your interior is red and black a lot. You. This is on you. Right. <laughs> hot pink. You think hot pink? No. We'll figure it out right now, man. Alright, guys. Take it out, I bro. think we, uh,. I think we found the move. Let's go outside with this. All right, guys. I'm not sure if you can see, but he showed me this color. Don't mind the knob is pretty beat up, but the color, wow. What's up, guys? So this color he, I'm gonna go with for El Jefe. It's a little bit, takes a little bit longer. It's a different process. It's a three stage. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna um, lay a base coat of black. Then we gotta throw the red metallic. And then on top of the red metallic, we throw a flake. And sometimes these metallic colors, for anybody that's powder coat before, you could feel the texture. So what we do after, we wet sand it, and then we have to um, high polish it. So you, you know, it'll be nice and smooth. It'll be good. So we're gonna mask up the threads for the oven. This is a high temp tape. It's fiberglass. It gets pricey, but it does the job. <laughs> that way we don't get any powder on the threads. Nothing Ooh. crazy, something simple. We'll hang it up.
Hey, Nancy, can you do me a favor? I need you to go stand in the oven and make sure my stuff doesn't fall while it's on. I just need you to be in there. Oh, it's only going to get 300 degrees. Wow. All right, so half his parts have been in here for about 25 minutes, 30 minutes, heating up, half cure. So now we're going to pull them out and throw on the flake. And then after that, the clear. So. This is not a cry for help. Really, I'm fine as well. This is me trying to find myself. Even if I got a mind of self, in my mind to remind myself all the times I felt much worse than this. When folks acted so merciless, but looked like friends on the surfaces, disguising with their purposes. This purp I sip, this smoke I blow, these booze I drink, these shrooms I eat, these pills I pop. When I find what I'm searching for, I. So, why do you put it in for the second time now? Now we'll leave it in there for another 15 minutes just to do a half cure. Now we're gonna throw the clear. Nice and smooth. I can never wear that girl. She waits for me. Ain't no telling where she just for shoes and fit. I can never wear that girl. She waits for me. Always in the night. I don't know every single day. I know the truth. You want the status. Show these bitches you the baddest. Yeah, I know the truth. Don't gotta hide it. Don't gotta keep that shit silent. Put up a front till I hit from the back. Look, like right when you open that thing, I started like sweating. <laughs> it's freaking nuts. Apologize if there's a little, my camera's a little dirty now. I wasn't there while he was shooting, and my camera has red glitter all over it. Um, I I kind of like it. I no, I'm not gonna. Lie. I do not kind of like. It. I like it. The color looks dope, and it goes with the inside of the car, like being red and black. I think this guy's killing it right here, and I'm so happy I get to fill, um, film this whole process. If you guys want to see more of what he does, they can go to your Instagram, which I'll put in the description, and then the web their website I'll also put in the description. And um, check out, and if you guys want to get work done for him, obviously, you see what goes, you see what he does, see the time and the effort that he puts into the work. And I'm just glad, I'm glad I get to film it, so it's super dope. So we're over here with Zosiety, and uh, this is Ray, Z, Z stands for Zosiety. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my camera starts melting, I can't even get it <laughs> like All right, guys, so that's... The extension of the knob and then here's the shift knob right here dang that is so shy. Little hot. <laughs> all right so this is the finished product that thing cafe beat it right here <laughs> let's go check it outside so. so i don't know if you guys drive camaros out there but if you guys do you guys know that the shift knobs they don't have a they don't screw in there's like a side bolt so i'm gonna we need to go over there oh get light so I need to go home, I need to test fit it. It's obviously not gonna fit right now, but we're talking about going over to the machine shop next door and having the side having the side screws put in so we get to set it in place and it'll fit right. Cause you don't wanna be, I don't wanna be driving on the track or driving on the street anywhere and then shift not come off, that won't be a good look. So let's check out these bad boys. These freaking sparkles are brighter than my future. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm super stoked. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you being on the vlog. No Thank problem, you for bro. this right here, man. And uh, go give him a follow. Go hashtag on his Instagram, the last picture you post. YouTube fam, show him some love. And definitely not the last time we're doing work because I still got rims I need a power coat. Yeah, yeah. So we'll definitely be back here again, right, brother? Yeah, bro. Alright, guys. So stop right here, premium auto styling. Obviously, I had to. It's literally right down the street from. Not even right down the street. Literally, I'll just right over there. There's premium fly ride. So I'm gonna go show them the shift knob and see what they think of it, say what's up to them, and then I'm gonna take off to uh, MFR. What's up? What's going on here? Hey, what up, dude? I got I my like shift the knob. Kicks, bro. Thank you, man. You got yours done first? What the fuck? Hey, you what gotta be careful. Mitchy, Mitchy's very territorial. Well, Mitchy, how about congratulations, Gert? Congrats. Hey, Gert, how would you give me some congratulations? I just got done. Look at that bad boy. Oh, that's, that's dope. That's dope. You know what? It kind of reminds me of something, Mitch. So. Girth? I don't know. It was... Now the girth is not there. <laughs> the girth is not there. It might be length, but not girth. Girth. What's up? Tell YouTube fam what's up, man. What's up, YouTube fam? Everyone knows what girth is. If you guys don't know what girth is, go watch Daniel's story on the making of girth. Anthony, where's my shift knob? 
Where's my ship knob, Anthony? Why you have my why did you steal my ship knob, Anthony? I did. Where, where is it at, Anthony? How are you gonna steal my ship knob? I haven't fucking had Cody it. came in here, he's like, have you seen half face ship knob? And I was like, what are you fucking talking about? I don't have no ship knob. I have Mitch's ship knob. In my hands, it was actually Anthony, on my car. I expected more from our friendship. How dare you? <laughs> look at that look, I know you're lying. Whoa. Wow. I found my ship knob. It's uh I'm doing black with red sparkles. So the knob, they're not the knob, but the, the extender is going to be uh, black. What do you think, Mitch? It's very cool. Girth approved? Girth approved. <laughs> and just like that, we're at MFR. Came over to check out Show Mike and then my shift knob. Um, it was kind of crazy because when I show Mike my shift knob, he tried to sit on it, but I told him that's not what it's for. <laughs> wow. wow. What's up, Bill? What you been, brother? What's up, brother, man? So tell the YouTube oh, camera what's up. again. Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> comment down below, yes or no. These are for shows. We're gonna raffle them off. Make sure you guys comment. We want to know what you guys think. Bill. How much you love this car? It's all right. What? It's, it's the only cool about it is that it gets like 40, 50 miles per gallon. And all right, between this and the GTR, what are you picking? Fuck. Dude, they're two different cars. Hurry up, we got three seconds. Three, two. I'll probably go with the, the GTR. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this power. thing is so nice, man. Yeah, that's the problem. Congratulations. So. Oh, thank you. 33 self man asked me a question on my YouTube channel. You know, I always read my comments and I try to reply back to all of them. He asked me if my girlfriend gets upset when, you know, girls comment or send me DMs because of my car, they want me because of my car, whatever it might be. And my answer to that is no, my girlfriend doesn't get mad because she realizes it's just business. My girlfriend's actually the one that actually tells me to take pictures with models and uh, make sure models get into my car, take pictures. She supports it. Now, there's obviously no foul, foul play going on in the DMs. It would be strictly business. But I feel like when you're with a girl that like knows who you are and trusts who you are, and she has she has her own security, she doesn't have insecurities. I mean, that's what allows that to be okay because any girl will get mad and get upset and use it to as ammo to like start an argument. But yeah, yeah, basically it's just basically not being insecure. So no, my girlfriend doesn't get mad. Now if there's foul play in the DMs, she'd probably bust cap my ass. But there's not. <laughs> Yo guys, comment down below. I might be doing shirts like this as El Jefe and I'll put my car. So let me guys know if you guys would be interested in some merchandise like this. No. Tink, stop being a hater. Fuck you. You barely speak proper English on my channel. That's called a racist right here. El Jefe's a racist. Don't follow him. If you like his video, click thumbs down. Thank you. <laughs>